Newcastle United versus Manchester City. The Blues travel to Toonside in search of another three points. We're on a bit of a roll right now. We have started off the Premier League in fantastic fashion, picking six points up out of six. That's a surprise to me. We don't usually start like this. A very good performance against West Ham. Uh, a formality performance against Bournemouth. But this is by far going to be our toughest test. The new rich boys on the block versus the not-so-new rich boys on the block. Newcastle have had a summer... They probably wouldn't uh, have asked for. I think they're anticipating spending quite a lot more money than they have, but the FFP rules, which we all know too well, uh, have prevented them from signing players that would have boosted them even further. They're going through a period that we kind of had to go through uh, at the very start of our takeover. Get in your mercenaries, get your club up that one or two levels extra and build from there. It's going to be a process for them. But listen, they are our obstacle on Sunday afternoon at half past four Revel. How do you feel about traveling up there? They are doing quite well. They haven't conceded a goal yet. They beat Forest, but they drew nil-nil with Brighton. Yeah, they seem like to be a really, really well set up team, which again, you kind of associate with Eddie Howe. Eddie Howe likes to set up like that, being a very hard team to break down and play good football in between. But they've they made a lot of sign not a lot of sign, they made a lot of good sign and just signings that'll make sure you're getting top half, maybe pushing European Conference League, whatever you call the thing at this stage. But they they have a good squad and they again they're set up really well, they're not conceding goals, they're scoring a couple as well. They've done very well to keep right now. I think it took a, a trippier goal line clearances to get it out, but they're again like it just I can't say anything else, but they are so well set up. City are going to find it hard to break down. But this is the exact same mindset I was going to West Ham with that. West Ham are a good team, hard to break down. We're still finding ways, we're finding ways to break down every team at this moment in time. I'm confident. I'll never turn around and say that I'm not confident going to games like this because this is some of the best football we've played in years. So <laughs> that might be a hot take. This is some of the best football we've played in years. I'm really, really excited going into this game. I'm really I'm actually dead confident about it too. I know I said we're on a bit of a roll right now where we're looking like we're getting into a bit of a rhythm, but we also do have to accept the fact that we are finding our way. We are playing a slightly tweaked style uh, to what we're used to and there's new players betting in, and, that, and that's perfectly fine. But but what are we looking to see from City this weekend is continue the rhythm. It's all about building momentum. Um, we've got four or five very winnable fixtures over the next couple of weeks, and it's really important. While our, our direct rivals are dropping points, you know, Chelsea and Tottenham drew, they would be classified as rivals. Liverpool still haven't won. They play Man United on Monday night so one of those teams isn't going to have a win after match day three it's really important we don't get uh, sucked into that we just keep doing our thing get into our rhythm and build momentum it's all about building momentum for us right now there's not a huge amount more you can say uh, other than you want the good performance you want to see players growing into it and you want to build momentum on top of what we already have now in terms of the squad uh, you'll see our predicted starting 11 up on screen right now you'll see we have put Bernardo Silva in ahead of Ilkay Gundogan and that is not to uh, disrespect Gundogan or to say he's played poorly in recent weeks Gundogan has been one of our best players in recent weeks but now that the contract situation or Bernardo's future is a bit more solidified we, we, we kind of know now he's going to be with us for the season we think he will start this game and it's a great opportunity for Bernardo Silva it's time we saw him get a prolonged period or at least a full 90 minutes with a striker in front of him we still think Haaland will play and it's time for Bernardo to get his go with, with a striker in front of him um, in terms of left back this new Sergio Gomez guy Pepe said in his press conference as we're recording this the press conference is going on that Gomez will feature in the squad so could we see a situation whereby we have an actual left back on the pitch Rebel what, what do you want to see overall from us going into Sunday for me it's just all about building momentum and getting to that game against Tottenham on September 10th having maximum points that, that has to be the goal that, like again your goal is to go out and win every game we're one of the best teams in the world you have to go out and win every game to keep on top of this league the kind of the half good thing now is that getting into these games we can't afford to drop points given the Liverpool situation but we don't want to you have to keep building momentum again that is the key word momentum keep it up keep winning keep getting results whether it be 1 nails or 5 nails get those results make sure you're top of the table going into that Tottenham game again we've seen Tottenham Tottenham are very well set up they're again it's going to take a lot to break them down if we're breaking down these type of teams beforehand then if you're going into Tottenham on a cloud nine confidence you're not like I don't want to say but I don't want to jinx it but it's a good chance we don't lose it but from now until then, it's just a matter of getting every point on the board. It's going to be fairly, it could be recycled games. Like we could end up just saying the same thing about every game, like we tend to in the middle of the season. But it's going to have to get done. And again, this game is very important. This is our biggest challenge yet. But that's what, again, we, we say again, recycled. You want to keep getting, you want to keep getting these results. Come out on the better side. Like it's, it's very hard to talk about this game. You know what I mean? We just have to keep getting results. 
I think in, in terms of team uh, overall team performance and, and team objectives, you want maximum points. I'm just looking at the fixtures here. We have Newcastle away on Sunday, Palace at home next week, uh, Nottingham Forest at home the following week, Villa away then before we go to Spurs. So in theory, we could, or before we play Spurs at home rather, who are a bogey team for us, Tottenham. You have to remember, Tottenham seem to have a great ability to take points off us. But we could, in theory, have 18 points out of 18. Now, that's not me discrediting any of the clubs we're playing against. I just think we are better on paper and they should be formalities. They should be wins. I think before Tottenham, this Newcastle game is the biggest test before them. Granted, Villa away is never an easy place to go, but I think Newcastle, with the good feel factor around the club right now, and the way they're moving forward, they will look to make a statement. Eddie Howe and his team will look to make a statement and say, listen, we are on the up, we're feeling good, we can take points off big boys on our day. I think they know themselves the reality is they're not going to be challenging for top four, they're probably not going to be challenging for top six, but what they will be looking to do is definitely improve on their place from last season, but also show that they can compete on their day when everything goes right for them with the big boys, and that's what they will look to do. But from our perspective, individual players, will need to put in good performances. If you want to be involved in these big games throughout the season, you want to be considered for that Tottenham game or even closer to, to the Palace game next next week, players need to put in good performance. I want to see good performance from Jack Grealish. I'd love to see Haaland get a couple more goals. I have no doubt they will come. Um, Phil Foden, who we, we think will play on the right-hand side this week, we saw it against West Ham. He was very good on the right against West Ham. So we've gone with him over Mares in this occasion. Once again, that is not to say Mares has done poorly. I don't think anybody has had a poor start to the season. So it's going to a bit of a headache for Pep as to who he picks in this starting 11. Is there anybody you're particularly looking forward to seeing? For me personally, I really want to see Calvin Phillips. I know he had a knock during the week and he's back in training, but I think it's, I'd, I'd love to see him get some game time properly. I want to see Mara Foden on the right. That's what I've been kind of shouting for it since we lost Ireland and it was really Mara's and Palmer. I'm excited to see Foden on the right if he starts. But I'd be a liar if I said I don't want to see Gomez for even 10, 15 minutes. I want to see what he can offer. I want to see the style of play that he can be integrated in play. And I want to see what the plan is for him because he's, again, he's a very good attacking left back. He was playing as a midfielder last season. He could be like a Cancelo, but this is, I don't know. I, I, have, I have a good feeling about him. Again, I'd like to see a bit of Phillips too, but you can't drop Rodri at the minute. But yeah, the, the two that I'm really looking forward to, I want to see more following on the right and I want to see Gomez get 10 or 15 minutes really. <laughs> see how Bernardo fares I think he will start I want to see how Bernardo does because I've been banging the drum on recent streams that I think Gundogan is more suited to playing with a striker in front of him but I also made it clear that I firmly believe Bernardo has the capacity to do so and do so in fantastic fashion as well so I really want to see that happen and I'm very happy with the situation over his contract as a potential contract extension and that kind of thing I'm very comfortable with the Bernardo situation I want to see him play now I want to see him play with a striker in front of him I'd also love to see a bit of uh, Julian Alvarez we saw when he came on against West Ham particularly i know it was for only a short period that he could definitely offer something different the thought process uh, in bringing in Haaland and Alvarez was that, yes, they're both strikers, but they both offer very different dynamics uh, as strikers. So I'd look to see what the plan is and, and what we can look forward to with Julian Alvarez. Maybe 20 minutes, half an hour uh, would be perfect for him. I think there's no doubt over who's going to start. It will be Erling Haaland. I think we can be fairly confident Erling Haaland will start this game. And it's going to be a test for him. Newcastle are a fairly big physical team. And, you know, with Haaland used to playing in the Bundesliga, where there's a lot more space and there's a lot more time on the ball, he's going to have to adapt to these situations and teams like Newcastle and even Palace next week we saw with that Anderson guy against Nunes and um, they're going to get stuck into Haaland and it's going to be a bit of a test for him so there's a lot of individual narratives and storylines to watch this Sunday do I think we'll win this game yes absolutely I mean as a city as a city fan channel it may become repetitive because we're in such good form right now I really feel like we've brought the momentum from winning the league last season straight into this season which is very unlike us like I said so many times now we usually start slow so this is different I think they're well aware of the fact that this World Cup in November and December is going to be like a, a stop gap in the season it could potentially break up momentum so it's really important for us right now to gather as many points as possible and get as many wins under the belt as possible now I'm not going to be over ambitious and say we, we should go inv invincible or we will go invincible there's obviously going to be banana skins here and there it's football things happen but we know fine well what we have have to do we know what it takes to win these games we know what it takes to win the league Newcastle uh, a journey further north it's a tough place to go man there, there's a feel good factor there they're looking good they're feeling good they want to improve they want to make a statement I don't know what much more you can say uh, I want you lot to get involved down below in the comments and let us know your thoughts on this game Rebel I think it's time we gave some score predictions um, we don't have a huge amount of base uh, our, our thoughts off because we've only played two games this season but I'm still fairly confident as I always am what's your prediction and give me a goal scorer as well I'll give you a goal scorer as well right? I'll go 
2 0 C, I'll say a grueling one. I'll say a very, very grueling one. I think maybe it might take till just about after half time. I think it could be a draw half time. We'll go out and stuff too in the next in the second half. See, I don't want to go cookie cutter and just say Harlan, although I do think he'll get one. I think, I do think that can that uh, Bernardo will pop up one. I think he'll end up, he, he'll want to go out and push for his place in the squad and he'll end up with a goal. Could be a scrappy one, could be a screamer. I don't know, but I can spend him getting a goal. I think Bernardo, knowing his future, at least for the next 12 months anyway, will, will, will make him feel better, make him feel more settled and more comfortable. And, you know, a more settled, more comfortable player is definitely more likely to perform better. So 2-0 and a Bernardo goal for you. I am going to go 3-1 Manchester City. And my goal scorer of choice is Jack Grealish. I, I am still manifesting this for quite some time now. Jack Grealish, the goal is coming from him. I, I, I know he's going to score soon. So please, Jack, do it for me uh, on this occasion. 3-1 from me, 2-0 from Rebel. Get down below with your score predictions in the comments. Let us know your thoughts going into this game. Like I said, these previews for these games, when they're not streams, we will stream more definitely. We, we, we want to transition into doing more streams than videos, but we will still continue to do videos. We need to compact our thoughts into these videos and they can, might become a little bit repetitive. We want to get you guys involved more, essentially. We want to get your thoughts and your opinions and, and get a conversation going. So get down below in the comments. Let us know your thoughts. Hit the like button. We're on the road to 4K and the support has been fantastic recently. And we really appreciate any of you new people supporting us on that journey. We'll see you on Sunday with our review after the game. Good night and God bless.